When you're developing for Android, there will be times that you need to perform operations not on the UI thread. One of the options that you have is to use an async task. As you can see, there are three generics that need to be created with the async task, and in this case we're using void, integer, and string. Each of these represents the object type of the parameters for do in background, on progress update, and on post execute. The most important part of an async task is the do in background method, which is where you would perform your operation, such as a network request. While you're doing your operation, you can also call publish progress, which in turn will call on progress update so that you can update your UI to let your user know what is going on with the background operation. And when your task in do and background is done, you can use the return type of do and background to pass a value to on post execute, which in this case is using a string as defined above so that it can display to the user that the task has been completed.